What's up, Loops? Jungle Bird here, bringing you another war recap video. This one against uh, AUS War Legends. Um, quick breakdown. Eagle bases. Um, they had us outnumbered seven to four on Eagle bases, and I believe all seven of those were uh, pretty much max Town Hall 11s or very close to it. Uh, eight eight hundred and ten. And then the next, the top six were eight, eight seventeen, which I think is max defense. Um, uh, as far as warden, our, uh, warden armies go, each of us had eight. However, I think uh, we had the advantage with a higher, higher level wardens overall. I think that's just I was just glancing at our lower warden, our lower, uh, lower map wardens, and ours were generally higher level, so advantage there and we had a, a pretty big advantage with the inferno uh, bases uh, bases with inferno towers but no eagles we had six of them and they only had two so I guess it kind of balances out the uh, discrepancy with the eagle artilleries um, obviously it's a little more difficult to get stars on an eagle base versus a base with infernos so uh, overall I guess a pretty fair matchup um, I guess the matchmaking update seems to be uh, working pretty well so far. I don't know what you guys think, but anyway, let's get into some recaps here. We're going to kind of focus on uh, the top of the of the war map on this one mostly. I think we did a, had a pretty good performance. Um, unfortunately, we didn't quite crack 90% destruction. I'm not sure why. We had quite a lot of uh, three stars and high percentage doubles, uh, but... Anyway, really good performance, I thought. We had, we had to get stars on a lot of eagle bases, so good work, everybody. Let's start with Mokor hitting their number one base. And uh, Mokor is a pretty new Town Hall 11. It's rocking the level 9 warden. I mean, his bowlers aren't maxed yet. His uh, golem's not maxed yet. So he's got still quite a bit of offense to level up. So he starts off with a queen walk here. Um, nice poison placement, especially with these double witch CC combinations, which can kind of really gum up your kill squad or your queen walk. Uh, how the poison ring kind of is like right at the edge of his queen, so the poison will get the maximum available, I guess, area of effect uh, to hit the CC troops. So really nicely placed poison there. A couple point defenses, so there comes the rage spell. Rage spell could have been... Rage spell could have been a little deeper there, just so the queen takes a little bit more of the effect. Uh, CC Golem, looks like, comes in with a few bowlers on the uh, top left side, kind of uh, create the funnel on the other side here. Oftentimes, players will drop a rage on that side just to kind of ensure this, this other side of the funnel is very uh, big, I guess, prevent your main push from walking. But uh, Mokur does a good job here getting his uh, squad of bowlers inside of the base. Nicely placed uh, freeze spell and rages in the core. Good uh, warden ability also. He blocks out that uh, eagle artillery volley. Gets to town hall, gets to the 50%. Nothing left for his queen, so I think she dies to this, uh, these defenses here. Yep, she goes down. But he got the two star, so nice job, dude. These kind of attacks, uh, can take some getting used to with, with the timing of everything. Obviously setting up your funnel, and then after that, just, you know, spell placement, troop placement, uh, your timing, especially if you're using a freeze with a warden with the warden ability, all that kind of stuff uh, can take some practice, so good job, man. Uh, next, we're going to check out Big Marn, getting a very impressive 66% double on another max Town Hall 11 base here, and Marn's just a, uh, not just, but Marn is a uh, max Town Hall 10, so impressive job getting the double, especially with uh, the new Town Hall 11 defensive power. 
Uh, good base recognition too, as you can see, he's going to walk his queen up into this northern compartment. And with that, he's going to be able to pick off two air defenses, the CC, a bunch of defenses, and the town hall. So he's going to pick up his single star, as long as he can keep his queen alive, which he does. Wall breakers come in. Good job with keeping uh, keeping the rages coming down early because there's quite a lot of uh, point defense hitting the queen right now. One healer goes down to an air mine. I think he drops another rage in a moment. Yep, there it is. So that would keep the queen alive while she takes it out the town hall. So probably the best way you could start out the attack right there, going for the two star with uh, picking off the town hall, taking out a couple air defenses. And as you can see, he's bringing in dragons. So he's got two air defenses taken care of already. So dragons are going to be able to uh, get quite a bit of value with the rest of the base. He's already at 36% with just the queen. And here comes the dragon push. He's going right into an air defense, but um, maybe his intention was that these balloons would come right in and take out that air defense, which they do. And he's got a freeze for the air defense as well. And at this point, he's just racking up the percentage. 66% uh, is uh, pretty darn impressive for... Uh, Town Hall 10 to get on a Town Hall 11. So good job, Marn. We'll just fast forward to the end of it. Looks like that's about it. All right, buddy. Good work. Uh, next one, let's check out. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to look at my attack on number 6. Town Hall. We had a couple Town Hall 11 triples. On this attack, I'm bringing in the uh, Queen Walk Dragon attack, and thanks to Divine, uh, brand new Town Hall 11, uh, hitting this base uh, with the Queen Walk and uh, Bowler attempt. He's trying to get the two star. Didn't quite get it, but I used that information from the Queen Walk to uh, to uh, drum up this plan here. So watching Divine's attack, I knew my queen would walk south after taking out this archer tower, which she does. I was able to predict how many rage spells I would need to kind of push her up and around the base. A little bit of a close call there with my... I got a little ambitious with that rage spell placement but fortunately the queen didn't go down I didn't have to pop the ability early or anything like that so the queen's gonna make her way up my plan is to make a uh, a large funnel here by walking the queen up around and then drop my dragons in from the south up to target the uh, clan castle which ideally will be the closest building for the dragons while those dragons move in I would have balloons with a uh, lava Hound on these uh, northwesterly defenses here. Queen almost goes down because my healers switch uh, to my Warden, unfortunately, but the Warden ability gives the healers enough time to come to their senses, switch back to the Queen. Um, and I think, oh, here come the dragons. So dragons come down, and the balloons come down at the same time. Got a couple haste spells for the balloons and a couple rage spells for the dragons. The nice thing about using dragons is uh, I don't even have to worry too much about killing the archer queen because I know the dragons are under rage spells at least. They're really uh, powerful versus an enemy archer queen. So dragons push through the core with the help of balloons, taking out defenses on the left. 
the queen hawk's still alive. She's basically serving as cleanup to, at this point. And there's still like four or five dragons up. And it's just clean up from here on out. So fortunate with that plan. Everything worked out well. I think I got super close on time, but whatever. It's just, uh, three stars, a three star. Thank you, Divine, for the awesome scout. And let's check out another uh, 11 three star by GSU. This one was super impressive, I thought. Bringing the mass Lalo with a couple skeleton spells for the Archer Queen. So he's doing a suicide hero push here. Um, obviously trying to get the air defense along with whatever else, you know, defenses he's able to get. A little late on this Barbarian King ability. My recommendation for everybody would be just to use that early. Earlier, you know, once the king's down to maybe like two-thirds of his health, just go ahead and pop that ability. Um, especially if he's a higher level, in my opinion, just because I think the ability lasts longer. So you want to get the full value for that ability. But still lots of value for his heroes here. Got an air defense, several towers, um, and he chunked out a funnel, which is also uh, very important, obviously. So here comes uh, three hounds, and I want to say uh, spam Laloon, but all these balloons have, all, all the uh, targets that these balloons go for are, just works out perfectly. Um, the balloons on the right take out these defenses here, and the I mean everything just works out great to funnel balloons into the core. He's got a couple rage spells. Um, Warden ability and a clone spell to push through the core. Two skeleton spells for the Archer Queen. And yeah, that's going to be a wrap. I might get a little close at the end here with that air defense and wizard tower combination. But once the air defense goes down and there's just the Archer Tower and the wizard tower to worry about, GSU has a couple baby dragons uh, for the back end. And you can tell it's just it's going to be too much for the rest of the base so let's fast forward to the cleanup the balloons even take care of the wizard tower and that's a wrap so awesome job GSU last attack we're going to look at is Smitty Smitty taking out number 10 um, Smitty is Smitty even a, a 9.5? I'm not even sure. Yeah, Smitty might just be... Uh, I'll have to check. This might be a Town Hall 9, so he's picking up the 3-star uh, the on this 9.5 base. I guess we'll find out if there's Max Teslas and extra traps and whatnot. He's bringing the HGHB. Nice, uh, interesting jump spell placement. It might be kind of early, and I can't remember now if if this jump spell connects. Looks like yeah, it does. I'm not sure if he got any value for it. Looks like everything kind of just bust pounded through the walls anyway and everything kind of fades out well he's got a queen walk that's developed with the healers so yeah hard to say that jump spell might have been a, a swag jump spell but regardless here comes the uh, hog army a couple heal spells to keep everything alive through it not the greatest base layout here but still picking up the the triple nice job smitty Tons of hogs left up, uh, several troops for cleanup, so at this point, just a uh, uh, nicely executed three-star, good job, man. Alright guys, there you have it, um, nice war, good performance by everybody overcoming the eagle base discrepancy. Uh, let's keep up the good work, and let's see, get our win streak 
going again after these couple of losses. Yep, we're at three now. So, yeah, let's keep it up. And uh, good job, everybody. See you in the next video. See you in the next war. Thanks for watching. Peace out.